Hello, I'm Alexia Maria Orwell, reporting for Hollywood Connection of the Don Rees Show on Tan Talk Radio. And I'm here with Mr. Adam Lopez. He's the star of Dutch Book. It's actually just shown, and it's a very good movie. You guys should check it out. So how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you for asking. So can you tell us a little bit about your part in the movie and a little bit about the movie itself? Sure. Um, so I play Will Santiago. He's a kid who's $20,000 in debt to a drunk, um, or to a bookie named... Uh, Joe, played by Keith David, uh, because of his drunk alcoholic father, uh, played by Richard Edson. So it's kind of like the movie's about him and how he's going to get these twenty thousand dollars to pay off his father's debt and how he's going to get out of it and figure it all out. So your role is very tough to film. How did you get ready for it, and how did you practice to get into those kind of shoots? Um, you know, I got the script a year before, so just a lot of looking at it, a lot, a lot of uh, time talking to the director about it, what he wanted. Um, you know, mostly just asking him a lot of questions, a lot of, a lot of questions. And what was the most difficult part about, you know, acting in this movie and, you know, actually getting into character, dealing with the situations that the movie has? I mean, I think for me it was, um, since it was, since it was, uh... <laughs> It was uh, working with so many like bigger name actors, I, you know, just trying to like relaxing myself and getting ready for the opportunity. I mean, like the role was kind of written for me in mind, so um, it wasn't too difficult. It was more like let me let me make sure I'm doing a good job with these guys that have been doing it for so long, you know. And what was your most fondest memory that you have on set while shooting the movie? Um, I would say the the most fondest memory I have is sleeping in the trailer. <laughs> so we shot in the in the trailer that we shot the movie. I slept every night in there. And at the time, I was like, oh, this is really gross. Um, but it turned out to be something that I really enjoyed. And is this your first time here attending the Florida Film Festival? Um, no. This is my, we had a um, subprime screened here, and then I had another film called 222 that screened here. Okay, well, congratulations on both of the films being here. So what other film festivals are you looking forward to attending with the Dutch book movie? Um, I know we just, we just had Central Florida Film Festival. We had um, San Antonio and Gasparilla, which we won Best uh, Florida Film. Um, I don't know what's coming up next, but, you know, we've got another, like, six months of the festival circuit. And I know that the while you're doing the film festival circuit, you know, it's not available to, you know, to watch a lot. For the people who aren't attending the film festivals, is there a chance of looking forward to a DVD pretty soon? Or can you speak anything about that? Um, we're looking for distribution. So, I mean, after the film festival circuit, then hopefully we'll get a distribution. We've got some offers, but we're waiting for the right one. It's great. And if anybody wanted to find you as an actor, do you have any website um, links or any contact information you'd like to share? Um, yes. I have um, Twitter. Adam Lopez Dreams. I have an Instagram, Adam Lopez Dreams. And then I'm on Facebook, Adam Lopez. If you could say anything, what is any upcoming projects that you probably have coming up? Um, I just did a feature called uh, Double Down. I play this guy named Hector Suarez. I get to be really angry in it. I like it. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> it's always exciting to get to play angry people. Is there any last words you'd love to give to anybody who is watching this interview that wants to you know, maybe become an actor, a writer, director? Any advice that you'd like to share with them? Um, there's this book I read called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Um, he talks about it taking uh, 10,000 hours to master whatever it is you're doing. So um, my advice is to keep working hard and put in the 10,000 hours and you know master your craft really really study it and you can do anything that you put your mind to yeah. well thank you so much for your time the award ceremony is actually coming up so we're gonna get going and good luck with everything hopefully so fingers much. crossed and you should definitely check out Dutch movie when it's available and stay tuned for more interviews thank you